So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at the derivatives of logarithms. So the general formula for the derivative of a logarithmic function, say log base a of x, is 1 over the quantity x times the natural log of a. And this has a specific version when a is e, so the derivative of the natural log of x, in other words, is going to be 1 over x times the natural log of e, but the natural log of e is just 1. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Let's look at an example. Let's suppose that f of x is the natural log of x squared plus 3. Well, then f prime of x is going to be, by the chain rule, the derivative of natural log and whatever's inside here in place of x. So 1 over the stuff inside, x squared plus 3. And then the chain rule says, multiply that by the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of what's inside is 2x. So we can simplify this. This is 2x over x squared plus 3. Let's go to another example. Let's suppose that f of x is natural log of cosine of x. Well, then f prime of x is 1 over cosine x times, by the chain rule, the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x. So this is negative sine x over cosine x, which simplifies to negative tangent of x. Let's do one more example. Let's suppose that f of x is the natural log of the square root of x plus 7. Then f prime of x is 1 over whatever's inside. So 1 over the square root of x plus 7 times the derivative of whatever's inside. 7 disappears, so it's times the derivative of the square root of x. And the derivative of the square root of x is 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And we can rewrite this and simplify, but it's not really worth doing unless you're told to do so. Let's now look at a pattern that we've seen in each of these three examples. So all of these were of the form f of x equals natural log of, let's say, g of x. Here, g of x is square root of x plus 7. Here, it's cosine. In the first example, it was x squared plus 3. And in each of these cases, we saw that f prime of x is, what, what, what do we get here? 1 over g of x times g prime. So this is just g prime of x over g of x. And yes, it's another formula, but it's something that you'll see often enough that it's worth memorizing. 